Howdy, folks. It is Ocean Floor Anomalies video chapter 13 of this Dealy Bobber, and we're going to be discussing some examples of ocean floor anomalies in this video. So, this video will contain uh, some brief commentary on the uh, images, and then subsequent videos will show uh, Google 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 Earth tours of some of these. <laughs> Sorry, giggling. Uh, some of these examples uh, we will tour in Google Earth. Okay, so first up in the thumbnail we have this area, obviously Central America, South America, and these potential maneuvers, uh, obviously on the order of hundreds of miles or even thousands of miles, like a thousand miles maybe, but these uh, possible uh, things uh, certainly could be naturally arising. Uh, there's just some weird associated features and linear aspects going on. This one looks like a er, 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 like an angular chunk, especially this edge right here is pretty straight. So uh, we'll scroll around this area and uh, if you want to pause on one of those you can see uh, the lines I'm referring to. And then zooming in a bit we have, uh, we could see uh, what may be image glitches or image artifacts, like image stitching uh, artifacts, um, but some of these have a very weird look to them, and there's several different uh, appearances to these, uh, what, we what we might assume are image glitches. So it's like even the image glitches themselves, if they're only glitches, are uh, very strange. So. Uh, I mean, they're freaking Google. You would think they'd have it figured out by now, but uh, it's, um, I mean, certain work is hard. I mean, mapping a, uh, a 3D globe or a flat surface to a 3D surface, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, is a, a task in, it, in itself. But just the the inconsistency of the glitches, like some look one way, some look another way, and then there's all kinds of different little idiosyncrasies and weird orientations. So like, I don't know, uh, like this ridge right here is very straight, and then like faint, like subtle stuff, lots of maybe stuff. So uh, in this image, I highlight just a couple of these lines. So, yeah, you can check these out, like this one, nah, it's tough, okay, uh, so we will check this out in Google Earth, and this is like a typical image uh, stitching or glitching issue or uh, appearance, the way it looks when the image is uh, stitched together, I guess, but again, it's like, it's too weird. There's like one, two, three, four, and five in a different orientation in this little hiccup here. And then these uh, parallel lines here, or these little cross hatches are kind of strange. Uh, they're not like super um, uniform, like uh, you would expect in a digital glitch. They're, they're kind of almost organic looking, so it's like, what's the deal there? And then this, all these par uh, parallel lines running alongside each other, just very weird, um, weird way to glitch if it's a glitch. And then like just this one thin line, and so I think there may be something even with, with Google Earth itself, if not with the terrain itself, uh, that's kind of fishy. So this is uh, a line that extends basically all the way across the Mediterranean, and this is only a part of it, but it's pretty long, and you can see it looks fairly artificial if it's uh, if it's even there. And it, see, like starts and stops. Like you wouldn't necessarily expect this from a, a standard um, glitch, like even just little portions of it. Uh, so it's like. It's almost like this uh, weird type of gibberish is inserted as a glitch 
uh, for any number of reasons, like maybe to muddy the, the water or to distract from whatever else is there or any number of things, but there's a chance that this is an actual feature on the ocean floor. And then even if it is a glitch, it's like super weird for a glitch. Like glitches don't like meander organically like this, like along this portion of it, like uh, it's, it's too weird. And then it's like perfectly straight there. So like, what's the deal? And then of course this one alongside it, and this one much more uh, meandery, or um, it wanders a bit. It's not not quite as straight. Sorry about that. And who knows what the deal is, man? And these cross hatching uh, lines here, the par uh, parallel uh, lines in the opposite direction. These little short hashes. So. There's all kinds of stuff we could point out, um, like this, uh, and yeah, basically the whole ocean floor, at least in Google Earth, bears this appearance. And you know what? Uh, to my discredit, I did not look in other satellite mapping uh, services like, what else is there? There's ArcGIS, and there's a couple others. Um, like three or four other uh, prominent uh, satellite imaging um, services for uh, that are available for viewing online, and I actually did not check those, so I probably should have. So uh, this is just Google Earth. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you'd see similar stuff, but who knows? Okay, so this image, just moving on, we've got uh, this linear ridge. It's looking more like a ridge than a glitch to me. And it's very linear. And then we also have all these other lines to consider, which look like some kind of grooves or something. So what, linear grooves in the floor, possibly. And then possible glitch lines, like here and here. Uh, these glitchy lines, always with the weird parallel hatch, cross hatching. So I think there is some, some type of inserted gibberish into the imagery to muddy the water in some sense. Um, and then I'll, in, in addition to that, I think we also have uh, odd features like this, which are actual features on the ocean floor. So uh, just a kind of a shit show on multiple fronts. Uh, here, where is this? Well, I don't know, wherever this is. And we've got um, well, first of all, these bumpy things, it's not much to go on here, but elsewhere you can see similar stuff, uh, like little dots that are quite frequently uh, appear in many places. So we'll check out some of that in subsequent images um, and uh, in the Google Earth tour. But just I just happened to notice them here. And then here, sorry about that, we noticed that uh, like if we look at this portion here, see how it's like this and like these start and stop things and these uh, little chunks taken out of it and like it's like it looks rounded here and then like flat here. Uh, so boy, like I said, kind of a shit show of uh, image stitching and or actual features on the ocean floor. And then we've got this, which just a blur here. Um, gosh darn it. So, and then it kind of stops there and then maybe picks up over here. So who knows what the deal with that is. And then this maybe up here, see this kind of dotted look. It's pretty common. Okay. Okay, so this is, yeah, that dotted uh, or spotted or bumpy uh, look. Uh, looks like Braille, it's what I titled it, uh, the place mark. Uh, just like little bumps or uh, holes, alternatively, if that's what it is. Uh, just some kind of uh, odd uh, distribution of little dots, and even here, and up here, 
So this is the island of, what is this, Crete in the Mediterranean. And yep, just like a weird, and we see the, the right angles of dots. So I mean, are we talking about an image glitch here? And like, why would it glitch like this? Like this doesn't seem like a standard image stitching issue, if you ask me. Um, so, so don't ask me, I guess. <laughs> Um, and then like possible straight line there these little squares if you see that like it's there's some there's some mechanical precision like right angles component to this that's uh, pretty odd the arrangement of it not to mention all the other glitchy lines that we could point out which are pretty ubiquitous in the ocean in Google Earth okay just yet another example of uh, weird angles here we've got these parallel cross hatching or whatever this like see it's not this or like this goes at like a little angle and then it changes and then this one over here uh, it's, it's kind of similar and then these hash hashes like kind of fade out and then changes direction we see some bumps whatever that is whether it's real ocean floor features or image artifacts, it's still kind of odd, and uh, yeah, and then of course these glitches or odd stitching lines, image stitching, just strangely, strange appearance. See, look, uh, see these, this bumpy texture here, kind of like braille or whatever, it's like little mounds. Uh, strange and then we've got this area the coral sea islands this big long line here and then this dir -dir -dir. and then uh, these here these parallel strange components pretty large scale ridges or grooves or something like that whatever this is Maybe nothing. So my best guess, I suppose, is that there are actual features like this on the ocean floor. And then in addition to that, there's uh, deliberately strange gibberish in the rendering of the image as well. Like just the, uh, the digital image. So uh, I think there's actual crap going on and then actual digital shizzle as well, digital tomfoolery, or like post-production tomfoolery, okay, or chicanery. Um, okay, so here we have these angles and multiple, I don't know, it just caught my eye, just three lines meeting in a triangle, and then the, again, the, the little haphazard, uh, stitch or uh, cross hatching pattern or whatever you want to call it the cross or the little shorter lines in the opposite direction to the, the longer line so here we have kind of fanning out here um, just just more weirdness that's difficult to explain Uh, ridges like this looking almost like a tool path of some kind kind of like we've seen this on a much larger scale of course and we've got other ones possibly here here's like angular little patch of bumps uh, all kinds of stuff all kinds of places these of course So again, the idea of a nonsense soup. So something went apeshit on the Earth's surface, uh, creating um, nearly coherent uh, nonsense. So it's like, uh, has elements of both 
uh, sensical landscape and a nonsensical landscape um, for whatever purposes. Uh, yet another example, this looking like some kind of ridge or ditch and doesn't quite look like a typical uh, image glitch, maybe a fault line even, uh, just looking fairly clean there and very large scale. You see how big it is in relation to these islands. Okay. Um, yeah, all right, there's that. And then there's these, which are like tracks almost, like, like what the heck, like rounded, like something changing course, like what's doing that, you know? And some of these, I mean, you could make a case that there's like internet cables that go underneath the ocean and stuff and pipes like transcontinental pipelines and stuff like that. So, I mean, that is true, but some of these lines are like, uh, like miles wide, like you don't have a pipe uh, that's miles wide. Um, I mean, there's some pretty big pipes that exist, but they're not uh, miles wide. And then we have similar to these rounded corner things we have right here, like something more of it here, like something tracing a path. So this might be an example of like, this is an actual feature. And then this is like a, a glitch or like a weird uh, riffing on that pattern, just like a, a garbling of that pattern to uh, just place next to it to uh, obscure this one. Uh, in some strange, uh, somewhat sophisticated um, muddying of the water or obscuring of the, the real facts. So we've got these rounded corners and that's not something I would expect in a typical image glitch, if that's what this is. And I mean, you could make a case that it's like trawling the, or dredging the ocean floor. But again, these, these are so huge, these, these, uh, just the width, uh, let alone the length um, of these features is uh, pretty big. Okay, let's go to the next. And kind of similar, in a similar vein of these rounded corners is this more subtle but potentially suspicious rounded uh, trajectory change, or change of direction. Uh, so we have kind of s almost suspiciously straight little ridge line here and a, a parallel one to it there. And then, so almost, almost a little gibberish sim similar stuff there. It could be the natural flow of the rock, could even be like volcanic flows or something like that. Uh, I, I, I would say it might be uh, the weird terraforming deal though. Okay. Uh, these ones I included because they're like rounded and uh, are rounded looking uh, in contrast to these flatter ones. And they there's lots of different directions, orientations. And then we have like this, these lines going across we have these parallel lines like this. So what's the deal with these? I wonder if this is the roof of an underground base or something, you know? Uh, and then all these little uh, glitches where the lines intersect and stuff like this. And I mean, so my best guess is that some of these features are legitimately on the ocean floor here, and some of them are uh, inserted into the imagery to uh, obscure what's what's actually on the ocean floor. That's just a guess, but it's my best guess. And just the, the sheer number of different types of image glitches or uh, stitching types, if that's if these are image stitching glitches or um, issues. 
um, seams in the image imagery, then uh, we have like one, two, uh, three, like different uh, looks to it, like the rounded, the flat, the wider, and with the cross hatching, these parallel lines. It's like too many different types for it to be, and all the orientations and direction changes and stuff. So it's like, it's too much different stuff for it to be just a simple image issue, I think. This is a very long straightish line going across the ocean floor, kind of starting and stopping here, see some gaps. So I think this is an actual feature or what it looks like it might be one. And there's this thing going across as well. Uh, this may be, but this long one's very stark. So we'll take a look at that later in Google Earth. Uh, Sardinia, an island, uh, I don't know if it's part of Italy or not, but somewhere near Italy. And it's got this long, uh, this is kind of shifting gears a little bit, uh, kind of overlapping with the artificially machined coastlines topic. Um, but the idea of like a long groove in the ocean floor, which is indicative of some type of maneuver or sweep of a, uh, some kind of device and kind of like angular stuff here, subtle, but might be something. Apologies, scroll foul. Um, so yeah, we'll look at this area. And then Herm Island in the UK, uh, I think nearby France, we've got like this little stripe here and then this line underwater. We've got all kinds of uh, these lines underwater here and many just long kind of meandering goof, goofity lines. And we will try and suss out whether that's just like uh, dredging or fishing or any number of things uh, but there's a lot of similar stuff like this around the world and like this here this here and here we have these I think are like just modern normal stuff like fishing traps or something these rectangles here um, but it's like these paths here which I'm referring to like the bare spots and the dark spots um, yeah, it's uh, it's a weird picture collectively. Uh, okay, similar thing here in Quib Quiberon, France. However, you say that, just uh, miscellaneously shaped ridges under the water. So if it's like a breakwater or something, like something to uh, stem the tide or. Uh, um, reduce the impact of the current, the incoming waves, or the strength of the waves, then they're just kind of haphazardly shaped. See what I mean? Like just like a little root. So it's not a very well organized project if that's what it is. Um, so I'm thinking it's just more gibberish, gibberish patterns when, uh, when you look at all of them next to each other. Uh, and then uh, same general area, we have uh, another, this one kind of ang almost angularly changing direction here. And then just kind of nice uh, sweep or uh, curve of the, the rock trajectory, kind of odd, possible something there as well. So we will check out this area. And then there's, uh, incidentally, there's like a star fort here. And um, so we'll, we'll check this out. Similar theme, this is in Cuba, just these long lines on the ocean floor and a similar line there. So uh, something sculpting or doing sculpting paths underwater for whatever purpose and similar stuff here, possibly like this, maybe some type of uh, path or sculpting uh, remnants or hallmarks of 
something that sculpted the landscape or the terrain. Okay. Or something else, just gibberish patterns or whatever. And another similar thing, we have uh, straight lines and back to Sardinia again, these straight lines going out, just kind of like rocky lines on the ocean floor and looking like some type of uh, tool paths. Again, the idea of like rock, like rails of rock and then a bare or uh, hollow uh, middle. Hollow is not quite the right word, but you get the picture like rock on the sides and then uh, a carved out middle looks like. And it doesn't seem to lead anywhere significant. It just kind of trails off and starts and stops. So is this like a new thing? Is it an old thing? Um, it's there in the, uh, the previous photos as far back as we can look, the historical photos, but unfortunately we can't look back very far. But it is weird looking, and this is something pretty ubiquitous seen around the world. Uh, again, kind of an overlap with the artificially machined or sculpted coastlines concept, but these anomalies are these linear anomalies um, jutting out from coastlines, like perpendicular to the coast, uh, often not seeming like they're any kind of modern jetty or anything like that. So, or access channel, just like a weird line. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty ubiquitous phenomenon. Here's another one in Maine, USA. It's just this line, this ridge of rock. And there were several others in the area, although I was going back through the photos again and I couldn't quite make out the other ones. So maybe the photos have changed a bit, but um, this line here is suspicious to me. Just kind of chilling there. A uh, nice stark ridge of rock for no apparent reason. So that is whatever, and we will look at it in Google Earth. Slightly similar, uh, this is in Port Phillip Bay in Australia, I think near Melbourne somewhat. And we've got this uh, rectangle on the ocean floor here. Not super spectacular. Uh, we'll get a closer look at it in a second. Just, um, it's not clear what it is and whether it's modern. It's just been chilling here for at least 20, 30 years, according to the historical photos. So I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't look particularly functional. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, maybe it's just like bags of clamshells or something to prevent erosion or whatever. You know, that is a thing. But, uh... Yeah, we will uh, take a look at this area, and here's a slightly zoomed uh, look at it, and then one more zoom, and we see it has these dots uh, within its interior, faintly, but they're there, and then there's another set of dots up here, which shows up in uh, a couple different photos throughout the years, uh, so it's some type of uh, more or less permanent feature and it's like just an array of dots. And psh, I mean, just gibberish patterns. Could be, could be the footprint of an old building or something like that. Could be even like ancient man, like a, an old uh, dwelling site of ancient cavemen or something like that. Or, I mean, who knows? Uh, so here's an, a different photo from a different year, and we have this uh, um, array of whatever kind of dots this is, uh, beachgoers for scale. So it's roughly the same size as uh, a beach umbrella or whatever, one of these dots. And then, again, this persistent rectangle feature, which is not quite clear what that is. Um, okay, so that's that. Okay, and then shifting gears a little bit once more. You've probably heard of this thing, the Baltic Sea Anomaly. I just did a little screenshot of the Google page, and I think these are the only like legit images on this results page, but it's just like the rest are 
like artist renderings, but uh, I think these are actual photos of the thing, and it's just like a goofy nothing burger. So that's that's my hypothesis. It's it's not a UFO. It's it's just like a outcrop of stone, which is uh, conf uh, configured or uh, formatted into um, some type of deliberately nonsensical but nearly sensical pattern. So it it looks like it could be a number of things, and therein lies its seductive seductiveness as a mystery. So if we have like a particular type of nonsense soup going on on the Earth's, Earth's surface to create a deliberate mystery which is an attention trap then we should see lots of stu stuff like this. And I feel like I chose the right words there but I stuttered a bunch. <laughs> oh well. Um, okay and then this article there were just a few uh, highlights. I just found a random article googling um, ocean floor anomalies. So uh, this is a stone structure 40 feet below the uh, surface and it's a thousand pound rock resting on seven baseball sized stones. And where is this? Eastern Canada, uh, Lake McDonald, Ontario. Okay, cool. And it's, uh, there's like three shims on some of the rocks or whatever. So uh, the conventional um, science does deem this to be man-made and not uh, not natural. So it's just like a, a rock pile, like stacked rocks. Uh, but number one, it's, it's the heaviness of the top stone is uh, uh, well, a thousand pounds. I guess a couple able-bodied men, like five or six men could lift that up. Um, so I guess it's not beyond our capabilities, uh, or the capabilities of like primitive man or whatever, caveman or 10,000 years ago or however long ago, but, uh, 40 feet underwater. So either this area was like above water and then it filled with water later or it's underwater. And again, I think uh, indiscriminately, the the surface of the Earth, whether on land or water, has been uh, just populated with a shit show of uh, goofy archaeological um, nonsense and uh, nonsensical terrain and everything in between. So this is an example of that. Here, this one didn't uh, catch my eye that much, but uh, it just kind of looks like a blotch or a blob. But apparently it's uh, like a, a massive circular stone structure in the Sea of Galilee, I, wherever that is. And uh, just it's just basically a pile of basalt rocks and organized into a circle more or less. I don't know what this line is going across. But uh, apparently it's a rare thing and uh, just a pile of rocks. And uh, the rarity aspect, yeah, I think rarity is a big component of this, whatever protocol is behind all this weird patterns. So that's, that's why it needs variety. Like there's, um, there has to be, in order to make something rare, it has to be more or less unique. So that's why so many different types of patterns are used. Uh, so, uh, so we might not see a repeat of this type of pattern, but we might see something quasi similar, like riffing off of this uh, as a starting point and then like uh, modulating some parameter to make it slightly different. And, um, but, um, the rare, the phenomenon of the rare jewel, I think that's another attention trap as well. Like, uh, like a, any type of one of a kind um, feature or uh, idiosyncrasy or site, like archaeological site or 
geological anomaly or whatever, it's going to be very seductive, much more so than something which is common. So, uh, just a brief note on that, and yeah, some, some type of anomaly on a sea or lake floor. Okay, and then another thing, this is pretty uh, ubiquitous one, um, circles, just uh, circles on the ocean floor. Uh, it's observed in Florida, North Carolina, Belize, and it's, uh, it's there's similar stuff on land, obviously. So again, just the populating this Earth's surface with uh, every kind of gibberish, or many kinds of gibberish. And uh, I'll show you another example of this uh, right here. So this is in North or near North Gigante Island in the Philippines and just more circles and nonsensical patterns. So, and then also in um, moving on from, from the circles, we have uh, in uh, Onotoa Island, we have the uh, awkward um, lines and uh, curves of, I guess, rock, like little rock piles or ridges of coral or whatever this is. And this is a pretty global thing as well. The uh, heart at the end of a line thing, Billy Bobber. It can be observed on land as well. And, uh, or similar things at least. And like right here, here we see like a slight variation on it, which doesn't quite fit the bill of a, a heart. or not quite the same shape. Some of them have like three lines going to them. Some of them have two lines. Some of them have a little line at the top. And I'm saying that's just like algor algorithm generated variation. So it's just like a idiosyncrasy soup um, or uh, pattern soup. Again, same deal. And this is, yeah, just off the coast here. And then same set of islands here, these circles. And not just circles, but uh, like this angular square thing here. And then whatever this is with this little deal and uh, the blotchy kind of uneven nature of the circles and some are more regular looking some are more rough looking bigger center smaller center uh, this looks like a double one so uh, i don't think this is natural i do think it's artificial and i think it's again just deliberate nonsense and here's more of it same set of islands uh, the Gigante Islands in the Philippines, and here's some slightly different variations on it. Let me adjust the contrast real quick so you can make it out a little better. Uh, okay, so and sharpness a little bit. So you can see some of these. Um, angular awkward patterns and no real rhyme or reason to it uh, by design I guess uh, just miscellaneous lines and angles here's a circle right here uh, rectangles and a little mini circle so pattern soup all along the ocean floor in my opinion and Yet another look at a different area of coast in the same islands. Just more of these angular lines, nonsensical. This one's like, oh, very, very, very uh, like, looks like it was drawn by a six year old trying to draw a rectangle, you know? And then right here we have one that's much more precise. I think that's by design to, just to make it confusing. So this one, like this little maze thing or whatever this is, just kind of derpy, nothing that nothingness and then just slightly further down the coast there's that maze again um, or whatever it is and then we have these patterns and this is like a uh, another uh, variation on that uh, heart at the end of a line thing that we were seeing a moment ago like uh, like kind of like these it's like like this type of deal but just slightly different um, variations on it 
So, uh, yeah, these are just little nublets that are, uh, in my opinion, non-functional. So we, we rack our brains saying, oh, what is it? What was it used for? But in the end, it wasn't used for anything. <laughs> Isn't that uh, comical? Um, somewhat and slightly frustrating and then little squares and stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, just gibberish basically. Okay, um, Yonaguni is another ocean floor anomaly you've probably heard of. And here's a good look at it. Uh, it's just a big, um, you get a sense of the scale of it by this diver here, probably six feet tall. And so very large, uh, like fairly flat uh, machined stone surfaces or um, nearly, uh, this is a nearly archaeological site because of the the deliberate deliberateness of the um, contours or the angles. Uh, see, this is like an almost staircase. Here's another one. These are like almost uh, archae are almost architectural in nature. Um, but again, it's uh, like pattern soup, just. Um, meant to be somewhere between man-made and natural like this is like a especially like with these horizontal lines and stuff like it's fairly clearly uh artificial but then it also looks fairly natural as well like we can agree on that as well i think um in this corridor uh and then this thing some people call it a turtle i don't think it looks like a turtle at all but it's just like a, it's just in that weird middle zone where it's like a little too um, <clears throat> uh, calculated to be natural, but then it's it's also too derpy to be like any kind of functional uh, actual feet um, uh, architectural feature or art artistic feature. So um, a lot of people would say this is like the eroding remnants of uh, lost civilization, but I would say, no, that's what we're meant to believe, or at least um, a certain number of people, a certain portion of the population uh, who, who flags this as fishy is meant to be drawn into this eddy of, oh, it's from a lost civilization. <laughs> but rather, it's not from a lost civilization. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's, obviously this is just all my opinion, but this is not a former uh, m uh, magnificent structure which has eroded away. Um, to the contrary, it's something which is made to look like it might be a magnificent, magnificent structure which is eroding away. And then there's also the possibility that uh, there was an actual interesting um, legitimate structure of some kind here. And then subsequently, some type of high technology came and uh, morphed it or warbulated it. Um, or uh, let's see, um, smeared it or reconfigured it into some type of strange uh, derivative or um, uh, like altered form which is heavily modified and bears almost no resemblance to its original form. So there's that possibility as well. Okay, so more like, yeah, just, this is like an almost, or like fairly clearly like some type of corridor, but it doesn't look like an actual functional corridor, like corridor for what? And I, I don't think so. Um, and this is like a sloppy staircase, like too sloppy to be a real staircase, I would say. And then here's a picture comparing, someone was comparing it to Saxe Waman in, uh, where is it, Peru? And uh, yeah, even these like little circular or rounded dents are just gibberish. Like this Saxe Waman site is uh, a whole bunch of gibberish as well. It's like, it's a false archaeological site, in my opinion. Uh, uh, 
contrived weird uh, gibberish. And then this is basically the same thing, but just underwater. Okay, so I guess we will, uh, these are the last couple images. Uh, one last type of anomaly w might be these um, potential little minions or implementing devices of, or component of the implementation device, which is left behind uh, from the terraforming business. So we have these lines here, uh, and then this guy is like, this is Starbuck Island in Kiribati, and closer look here, it looks like something like skidded to a stop or something. I don't think this is like a spaceship or UFO or anything. I think it's probably just a big boulder or something similar. And then we see these lines here. Like, I, I wonder whether something like just like tied a rope around this more or less and like dragged it around the landscape. Like maybe this was like charged up with like super, like made super hot or uh, super electrically charged or something, something which would make it um, cut through the landscape like butter uh, or something to that effect. And then maybe it was just like swung from some type of aerial device or suspended from the bottom of an aerial device and dragged along the landscape uh, and used as a little sculpting uh, stylus or tip of a pencil more or less. Uh, and then once they were done with it, they just left it here. And then there's also the possibility that uh, this is deliberately placed here, um, but it's not related to this line. So that's like another layer of mystery upon mystery or false mystery upon false mystery. Like there's this line, which was created, however it was created. And then this derpy object, which is planted here <laughs> um, to uh, obscure the nature of this line. Like, so maybe this derpy object is not related to the creation of this line but it's placed there to make us think that it might be uh, related to this line. So just another way to muddy the water. It's possible as well. I mean, uh, there's no real way to know at this point. Okay, and then a similar feature here at Aki Island in Indonesia. I think I screwed up and called it Palau Aki, which might be a different place or no place at all. Um, uh, but yeah, it's Aki Island in Indonesia, just north of Papua, I believe. And um, so first of all, we have these paths here, like these stone rails with the bare spot in the middle, which we discussed in artificially machined coastlines, and then several other paths or potential paths in the area, uh, like right here, maybe. Okay. And, uh, and then let's zoom in on the next image we have. Uh, a look at this, again, just kind of a derpy um, object, almost diamond shaped or whatever, uh, like an arrowhead kind of. So maybe this thing was dragged around to sculpt the landscape, or maybe it's just plopped here as a del deliberate mystery of yet another variety. And that is the last image in this video. So in the next videos, we will do our Google Earth tours. Okay, thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.